Was it his idea to form Bleach Japan, or was it yours? It was his. And getting rid of all the Grey Zones was him too? Yes. Although when he first explained it, <laughs> I thought it was pretty naive. But you went with it anyway. Why? Because I knew he could use the Arakawa family to recruit lots of people fast. It was an advantage no other political figure had. I knew that then, and I was right. Pretty soon, he was delivering results. For me, following him was a win-win situation. <laughs> the young master knows exactly how to use puppets like you. Guys who get all weak in the knees just for some cash and power. <laughs> Come on. Can't expect me not to make fun of a suck-up like you. So what happened next? Early on, people thought of Bleach Japan as a small advocacy group of nice young idealists. Our only goals were to eradicate corruption and make society fair and equal. We marched around the city shouting those demands over and over. Really? Sounds like a waste of time and money. I thought so too at first, but Aoki knew exactly what he was doing. He had his ear to the ground. He knew what society wanted. What do you mean? Eliminating corruption, creating a fair society. Words like that have a lot of appeal. People thought it was naive, sure. But deep down, it was exactly what they wanted. So people would praise us for our morality, if not our practicality. <laughs> Crazy, huh? A bunch of youths who'd never worked hard, shouting for the world to do as they said. But all the attention made them feel accomplished. I thought people only did that shit because it's trendy. Exactly my point. We made it trendy, and that attracted people who wanted to seem hip. Those types are everywhere. You can hardly walk down the street without bumping into them. They came to us in droves. The organization grew bigger and bigger. We even paid a bunch of women to join so we'd be gender balanced, and that attracted more people. It was funny to see those girls bring in guys who claimed to be so passionate about the cause. <laughs> Hell, that's how we got Kume, now that I think about it. It took some time, but eventually we had members all across the country. <laughs> that gave us an unexpected bonus. What bonus? Turns out, when you attack Grey Zones, the corrupt local politicians start coming out of the woodwork. <laughs> They just can't resist. They're too addicted to money and influence. So a bunch of corruption was going on. It was so easy to grease their palms, or even blackmail them. I mean, so often we would just stumble across info that would completely ruin them if it went public. You call that a bonus? It's a bonus when you can make politicians do whatever you want. <sighs> Makes you even worse than the politicians. How many members does Bleach Japan have now? If you count all permanent employees at every branch, we're 500 strong. Wow, 500 tight asses. But then there's the 100,000 people who join us for marches. 100,000? Yep. And here you have their leader tied up and pissed off. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. May I ask you a question now, Kasuga-san? Shoot. Why are you here? Aren't you ex Arakawa? You know, if you want back in the family, I could put a word in with the governor. Hmm. Think about it. How do you benefit from helping the Ejin Three anyway? Why not leave all this trouble behind you? Yeah, trouble's a good word for it. Right? So, why not let me go now? It'd make both our lives easier. Look, I don't want back in the family. But I'm no ally of the Aging Three, either. No? I just want to get the guy who killed my boss. In fact, when all this started, I didn't know a damn thing about Mabuchi or your plan. <clears throat> get the picture now, kiss-ass? We're not doing this for ourselves. We're doing it because someone picked a fight. 
And we're just making sure justice is served. Unfortunately for you, you're the guy who picked the fight. <clears throat> hey, you're the one who asked the dumb question. Think before you open your mouth next time. <laughs>